Hey everybody, so welcome back. So for today's project, we have something a little bit different. Uh, we have my stepson's 2013 Dodge Avenger uh, RT in the, uh, in the garage today. It has the 3.6 Pentastar v, uh, V6 in it. And essentially what we're going to be doing today is um, his car has the cloth interior on it. And he found a leather interior off of eBay. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling the, uh, the existing cloth seats out of it. And we're going to be putting in the leather seats for, uh, into it. So the driver's side is powered. I'm not sure if it's heated, but we're going to get into that later on. So with that being said, let's get to it. We're going to remove the uh, the existing seats and show you um, everything that you need to do if you want to do a project like this on your own Avenger. So let's go. All right, so the first thing you want to do is because there are airbags in the seat, you want to disconnect the power of the car. You can do that by disconnecting the main negative cable going to the battery it's a 15 millimeter nut so you just disconnect that and then you can check the power and the car should be completely dead all right so we're inside the car we're starting on the passenger side first and the way you have to get the seats out are there's four bolts per seat as far as the front they're 18 they're 18 millimeter one here and then there's one here you just take them out with an impact gun Right, and then we'll uh, walk around to the, the seatbelt location and then we'll show what you need to do to get that out. All right, so the next step in the process is you gotta remove the seatbelt from the seat and it's held on by a T50 Torx fastener. And these are held on there pretty tight, so you're gonna need to use a breaker bar uh, to get those off. So I wanna go ahead and do that now. All right, so once you get the uh, the fasteners removed from the rails, lean the seat back, and there's two electrical connections that you have to remove, right? There's a yellow one and there's a gray one, and they're just held in there by a retention clip, right? You just you squeeze down and then they release it and then you pull it right out. And the same thing for the yellow one, right? The same thing. You just depress it and it'll come right out. All right, so now we're gonna pull the passenger seat out of the car and move on to the driver. All right, so the driver's side is pretty much a mirror of the uh, of the passenger. You're just four bolt locations and the uh, the harness, right? It's essentially the same thing. So you, um, you essentially just repeat that process, and that seat will come out, come right out. All right, so now we're going to the uh, the rear seat, and the rear seat is pretty easy. All you do is you just pop it up, and it'll come right out. Start at either side, work your way around, and it pops from the end. So, and then you just slide it forward and out. So there you go. So the rear bench comes out pretty easily. So what we're going to do now is move the, uh, the rear back. All right. So to remove the rear seat back, it's held on by five bolts. There's one at the, uh, right at the corner by the uh, entry door. And then you fold it down and then there's another bolt holding the plate down. And then there's a bolt in the center and then there's one on the other side that just repeats so we're gonna go ahead and remove those now and pop this out all right so the original seat has been removed we're in the process of putting the uh the new seat back in it's a pretty straightforward process um it's just essentially a reverse of what you what uh you did to remove the uh the uh, original seats so the only thing you have to watch out for is when uh, you put the um, the rear back in is make sure that you don't forget to uh, put the uh, the center seat belt over the seat. Don't leave it behind it or otherwise you're going to be taking it apart. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this, the uh, the seat bench back in and that's going to finish up the uh, the rear. All right. So the, uh, the rear bench is in. It just snaps right in and... Um, 
the trick to getting this in is make sure that you have the uh, the uh, the rear receiver for the belt up above the seat. Um, if you don't bring those up first, you won't be able to get the seat in. So just make sure you do that, and then the seat is just clips right in. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so we just finished putting in the fronts. It, again, pretty straightforward process, just like the rear. Everything is a direct fit, lines right up. So with the uh, with the power seats, um, everything is a direct bolt in. All the electrical there is there from the uh, the cars without power seats. Um, the uh, the harness does does supply the power. Um, so it's just a matter of taking the old seats out and putting the new ones in, and everything works. So essentially that's it. If there's any thoughts, questions, concerns, go ahead and leave me in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if this is the first time uh, coming to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you part of my community. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.